Hey guys, so today we're talking about 20 things a guy should never wear. Hey guys, welcome back, and today we're gonna go over the 20 things a guy should never wear. I mean, a lot of our friends have done this video as well, and I think they hit the basics, so we kinda did our list a little differently, and we kinda left off some of the obvious, obvious things. So if you uh, comment, don't wear, Shirts with flames on them, or don't wear cargo shorts. That's the obvious. It would okay, have been guys. on the list, okay? We just, we're gonna do 20 things that are different than everybody else's list. So being gents now, I think this is a little bit more tailored towards like the guy who's, the more dressed up guy, the dapper guy, the suited guy. Okay guys, but before we get started, we wanted our YouTube fam to become our Instagram fam as well. So if you didn't know, we're on Instagram, we post every day, we have Insta stories. It's kind of more how we do our vlog type, so you get the behind the scenes look of everything we do and stuff like that. But we want to see who on our YouTube channel already follows us on Instagram. So I'm gonna put an emoji right here in this area. And if you guys see this video, head over to the last photo on our Instagram right now and comment that emoji and we'll know you yes. guys came over from YouTube. We just wanna see you know, how that's working. So nice correlation. We'll, yes, exactly. So at Gents Lounge on Instagram and hopefully we'll see you over there. All right, on to the video. On to the video guys, okay. So number one, most obvious, flip flops with jeans. So on our friends list, flip flops was a no-no just in general, but we live in Southern California so flip flops are kinda of like a staple piece, yes, you know, yes. especially there's beaches everywhere, so at the beach, I'd say flip flops are okay. If you're gonna wear them, I don't think out in public, if you're not going to swim or be near sand, but you know, especially with jeans when they're like super baggy jeans that like flop over the flip flop Oof. and it's just like, it's just kind of gross and it. The second is wearing suits in appropriate weather. So guys, I see so many guys in the summer wearing wool suits. Yeah, the suit looks killer and the suit looks awesome, but it's freaking wool and it's like 90 to 100 degrees. Don't do it, guys. Yes, same with linen in the winter and you know, stick, stick with the fabrics that go with the seasons. That's pretty much number two. Now transition to number three is unfitted suits. Basically it's like just any suit that doesn't fit you, it looks baggy and it just looks awful. Again, you can have a Tom Ford suit, $5,000, and if it's baggy, it's gonna look like shit, guys. Just well, don't wear it. not necessarily baggy, but if it's not tailored, like you can have like a wider leg suit, but you still need to get it tapered and fit to your body. Yeah, so you don't, have, yeah, to, you don't exactly. have to go super, super slim, but just like things that are ill-fitting, like if th things are too long, and that's kind of the or issues. The I think the shoulders as well, I mean like, my younger brother was wearing a size 40, even really he should be wearing a 38. Yeah. You know, and instantly it made him look better. He, he doesn't like super slim uh, suits, but he, it just looked more appropriate and more proportioned. Simple as that. Number four, guys, so this goes to out to all you ESPN fans. You see them wearing them on ESPN. It's the giant tie knots. Yes. Just don't do it. The double Windsors, the, the, sometimes those guys make it look like, if it's possible, like a triple Windsor. The tie is like really small, but the knot is really huge. Yeah, uh, just don't do it, dude. Yeah, along those lines, also like the the weird tie knots as well, like like the Trinity knot and the, the there's a bunch of different names for them. I have pictures up, but like you know what I'm talking about, guys. It's it's cool to be to know how to tie them, but they don't really have like a purpose. It looks it looks it looks tacky. Yeah, I mean a lot of like. People that don't understand like style and men's wear will be like, oh, that's a cool looking tie knot. I've ever seen anything. Cause like, it's like, you know, you have like a cool braid in your hair kind of thing, but like, it's not, it doesn't look great. And they're all, they always come out super, super massive. So unless you're like a giant dude, it's not ever going to be proportional to your body. Okay. So now a nice little quick tangent to go in here. What about a wood bow tie? And what about like a hex tie? You know, that one that looks like it's like scales. Yes. So no, no to both of those. Um, four years ago, I would have said yes to a wooden bow tie. And for the right occasion, I still might say yes, but definitely no on the hex tie. Okay, there you go, guys. Don't do it. Now, number five is pretty easy. It's uh, the opposite. Yes, yeah, the opposite. It's skinny ties. Skinny ties were huge in like 2001. I mean, JT was doing them and, and uh, uh, Ryan Seacrest, but it was like 15 years ago, you know? Yes. Super skinny ties, especially with like wide lapels, it looks awful, dude. Yeah, I mean, if if your if your tie is skinnier than than two inches, which is also very skinny, yes. But if it's any skinnier than that, it's definitely too skinny because you better have like no lapels on your jacket if you're wearing a tie yeah, that skinny. I, I totally agree. Or you have to weigh like a hundred pounds. So number six on the list, 
like spiky shoes, you know, like the Valentinos and the Louboutins. Like you've all seen them, you've all seen like the, even the Steve Madden rip-offs of those as well. Those are just, I mean, they're, they're tacky. Uh, you know, they were popular about three, three yeah. years ago. I mean, even for, leave it to the guys on Jersey Shore to wear those guys, yes. to wear those, you know? Like, I mean, uh, those are just terrible. I mean, first of all, like, it just comes across like, look at how much money I have and look at how obnoxious I can be with the money that yeah, I have. Just don't do it. Yes. Simple as that. I don't think we should explain anymore. No. All right. Number seven goes along kind of with those guys as well. Um, bedazzled denim. Like if you have like giant crosses and rhinestones on the pockets of your jeans, you're not doing it right. No, no, no. Again, I think you're like 10 years too late on that. Yes. That's terrible. Yes. All right. Number eight is uh, V-neck shirts. Okay. okay. Now. Unless you're wearing a V-neck underneath your dress shirt, you should not be wearing a V-neck shirt in public. Yes, I'm sure we're gonna get a lot of hate for this one because I know there's a lot of advocates for the V-neck. I mean, honestly, when I was in college, I was a huge fan of the deep V. I wore a lot of deep V and I wore regular Vs and all that. But then I found the, the loose scoop neck Ooh, I and it still, give, it, yeah, it still gives you the effect of the V-neck, except it doesn't like it's not so harsh and <laughs> geometrical. Like it, this, this neckline looks it so much look better. Like this, dude, you know, yeah. like it's not like <laughs> this. This neckline looks so much better with a suit than like the V-neck. That's just like it's Take like a down. V, and then there's like your suit has the V. It's just I don't know. In our opinion, it's for an older crowd. So you know, if you're 35, 40 plus, you could probably still rock a V-neck with with some vigor, yeah, but yeah, if yeah. you're younger than that, or, or I'd say super stay away. Buff. I see those super buff guys do, they always rock the V-neck. <laughs> I mean, they need room for their head to fit through. <laughs> but. Number nine, guys, it's an arm length full of braces, okay? I'm the guy that wears two to three, maybe four if I'm pushing it, but some guys literally have braces going up all the way up to their elbow. And on like both wrists, and then they have like a full, a full handful uh, of rings. It's, I mean, pretty much over accessorizing yeah, is, yeah. is what you should never do in this situation, but specifically, like, how do you have so many bracelets? Just buy one that, like, is, means something yeah, to you, yeah, not yeah. like a billion of beads on your wrist. I see guys wearing like a Rolex watch and they have like the rope wrapped around <laughs> the Rolex and they have the beads on this side and they have all the like metal on this side. And it's like, guys, come on now, like, that, that is just too much. Just, you know, don't do it, be classy, maybe two or three. Maybe one on the watch side, that's pretty much it. All right guys, number 10 on the list, um, excessive drop crotch. Like, I don't mind a little a little drop crotch if you have a longer t-shirt. I mean, it's in style now, Xanarobe does it pretty well. Yeah. But there's like some that'll drop the crotch like to your knees. Oh, that's terrible. And that's, that's just a little too much. It's, it's hard to walk like that. It looks like it a doesn't, it doesn't. It looks like you have like, like you had an accident in your pants. Yeah, dude, and, and, and I hate to call him out, I, I've seen Usher in concert, and I feel like he wears that extreme draw crotch where it's like hitting your knees, dude. It just looks terrible. It's just it's not, not a good look, guys. No, no, no. Number 11, guys, is unless you're Mario Batali or a doctor or somebody who's in the medical field, you shouldn't be wearing Crocs, okay? Just yes. don't do it. Save the Crocs for home if you're, that, if, if, you're, if you're that guy who needs like extreme comfort. But out in public, don't freaking do it. No Crocs, no Crocs, no Crocs. in public. All right, guys, number 12 on the list the fedora and not ones like these you know the fedora that i'm talking about and it's not i don't think it's necessarily the type of fedora that makes it an awful it's the connotation that that fedora got yeah. with the type of guy who wore it before you yeah, yeah. and you you know you don't want to come off people just see people see that fedora and they think douchebag yeah and it's not necessarily because you are a douchebag it's because a billion people before you that wore that were douchebags. Yeah. So simple as that. I, I associate with the guy who's in Vegas and he's gambling, he's drinking his Bud Light, he has a fedora on, he's wearing jeans with flip flops <laughs> and bedazzled jeans. With That's the fedora guy. Yes. Yeah. All right. Number thirteen on the list. Um, sorry, Tom Brady, but no Uggs. <laughs> and I mean, actually, I will say like the Ugg slipper, like moccasins, house shoes. They're super comfortable and they're fine. Well, this is all for outside of the house. Yes. Yeah. But like the UGG boot that is popular with Ugg, the ladies. Bear paws. Yes. Anything that looks like an UGG, don't do it. Number 14, I'm kind of indifferent about like, I hate it, but then I, I kind of like it, I'm not gonna lie, but it's those mules that you see, like I think Gucci's doing them. So it's like a slipper, but it has like fur on the back of it. Like when I see guys wear them, I'm like, oh, it looks ugly. But then when I see them in the store, I'm like, Maybe I want to buy a pair. Yes, but I mean. We're I, saying that this is again outside the house, 
So we're telling you guys, don't do it. If it's inside the house, maybe wear them as a slipper. But who's gonna spend $800 on slippers? I mean, somebody. Maybe. The people that are wearing bedazzled jeans and the yes. Louis Vuitton spiky shoes. Yes. Um, but, but we're actually curious, would you guys wear these mule type shoes? Leave us a comment below, we'll put a little poll up here because that's mostly what I'm curious about. I think everybody else kind of is on board with the other things to never wear. Yeah. But these are kind of new and trendy, so that's, I think that's why we think we might like them and yeah. want to try them because they're new and something different. But. I still don't think we can get behind it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. All right guys, number 15 on the list, and it's not necessarily something you wear, but you do wear it every day, and that's your facial hair. So like, like the goatee, and like the chin strap, and like the three musketeer. That's like right here, that, that like. Yeah, goatee looking mm. thing. It's just not a good look anymore. Unless you're playing professional baseball, I think those are like the only dudes that can pull off goatees yeah. and chin straps go these days. Exactly. Um, go Pirates, but I don't think we I don't think we made it anymore. Yeah, we're, but, we're, we're so out. we're saying the chin strap, the you know the goatee, and the little that little weird thing that comes on here. Yes. You know, and if you could grow soul a, patch, it's a soul, soul patch. patch. But if you can grow a push through mustache like those big thick ones, oh, more, yeah. more power to you, dude. Hell yeah. I mean, do it. All right, guys. Up next um, is something that Blake kind of didn't want to put on this list, but I kind of insisted, if you will. So that's fun dress socks. Like I am, so I used to be a huge fan of, you know, polka dots and stripes and loud colors on your dress socks. And now he's boring. Recently, I just, I mean, I grew up a little bit and I guess, cause I don't have to wear suits to work every day. I don't like need to have fun with my socks, which I don't know. I'm just, this is my personal opinion. So you can still love Blake and hate me for this one. But I think a really nice like, textured colored dress sock with, you know, just like a simple pattern. I'll put up a few examples of what I'm talking about. Looks so much classier and more sophisticated than, you know, a fun, like, ooh, there's like lobsters on my socks kind of thing, okay, you know? Yeah. Number 17, guys, is cheap cologne. Now we're talking about like Axe, body sprays, anything that you could buy at a, at a, at a drugstore, don't buy it. It's usually like just too strong and very musky. It smells like it smells like my grandpa. You know, like, like you can you can tell it smells cheap. Yeah, it does. Or it smells like high school, like because huh. everybody wore that stuff, like Bodman and oh, like Axe. Oh, dude, Bodman! Yeah, you, like, did you wear it? Yeah, of course. My mom got me the whole set for Christmas, so I was like, me, I was I was all about the Axe. The dude, the locker room was like Axe everywhere. Oh yeah, it was like a cloud when you walked out of there, like. Okay, so none of that, guys, just because it's it's more for a younger crowd. If you're an older, you know, if you're in college and older, you need a more sophisticated scent, some actual cologne from, you know, that, you know, has some, it doesn't come in a spray can. Let's say that. All right, number 18, we may get a little bit of heat for this one, but it's dress shoes with sneaker soles. Yes. So for for example, those uh, Cole Haan Lunagrands. Yes. Those are exactly what we're speaking about. I know when they first came out, they were very bold, like yellow sole. Uh, a dress shoe on top, but now they're like, they're all black, but they still look like a sneaker, but it's like a dress shoe. Yeah, I mean, I mean, make up your mind, guys. Like, wear sneakers with your suits if you're gonna go that route, or wear dress shoes. Like, it's just in between, that doesn't, it doesn't make much sense. All right, guys, getting close to the end of the list. 19, graphic tees, like big, you know, graph, you got things you wore in high school, like band t-shirts and stuff like that. I know band t-shirts are making a comeback with, H&M and all that, they're doing like bands they probably don't even listen to yeah, and stuff, time. but yes. Number 20 guys, this is the last one. I think it is, it is something that no guy should wear, especially somebody who's like dressed in suits and dresses sharp. It's a shirt with holes. And I know these shirts are super popular now. They come like ripped with, you know, you can see through them and it's just, I mean, it looks like you got in a fight with a bear or something. Yeah, it just like, doesn't look good. And, and especially when, when, when I see the guys with tailored denim and nice shoes and the shirt's all torn up, like, it, it looks like crap. I mean, yeah, just no holes in your shirts, guys. Yeah, it's, it's, that's not, that, that shouldn't even have to be on this list. It should no, be like a given. Yeah, yeah, just wear a vintage inspired shirt instead. Yes. Right? Yes. Simple. Okay, guys, that wraps up 20 things that guys should never wear. Remember, YouTube fam, we are trying to let you become our Instagram fam as well. So comment these emojis. Let us know you came over and saw this video. Um, we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel. Tell your friends about us. Um, go tell you know, me. like and comment. Go tell your friends about it. And um, comment below what we forgot off the list that's not obvious. Because we left off the obvious things on purpose, guys, okay? Yes, on purpose. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks.
And up next, Blake doesn't necessarily agree with me on this one, but I forced him to put it in there. Yes. And that's like. <laughs> that's what she said. <laughs> that was the creepiest laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> you said I couldn't stop. You said it. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, that's what right. she said. All right, ready? Yeah. Ow, my abs hurt. Relax, you worked out once, dude. That's why. <laughs>